Hello everybody, this is Nettie Owens. I, it kind of sounded funny. I am Nettie Owens with Safari Solutions Professional Organizing and I'm coming to you today with your daily organizing, productivity, time management, or systems tip. And they all kind of work together, right? So at Safari Solutions, we're always trying to help you in creating an environment, that space around you, that mental space, physical space, the time space that supports who you are, what you're currently doing, and the direction that you're going in, the big dreams that you have. So every day we're coming to you with a time management, productivity, organizing, or systems tip. These are cards that are the big organizing questions that individuals have come to me with. Um, the, the things that they're challenged with, and I've been answering and speaking on one every day, and I'm hoping that these are touching you. I've been getting some really positive comments um, about this information. Hi, Jen, and I'm so excited to share it with you. So if these are really touching you and you're finding a lot of value in them, then and you're, and you're watching this on Facebook, then please like and share this video. And if you're watching it on YouTube, because we're doing both, um, there should be a button up here at some point to subscribe to this channel, and you'll get it delivered right to you. So, pretty cool, right? All right, so I'm going to pick one of our cards for today and see what I've got here. Ooh, here we go. Multiple deadlines at the same time. Okay, so this is, I'm going to use the word fires here and hopefully you guys will be able to translate that into deadlines and I'm using it very specifically because when things come up at the same time it can often feel like the house is on fire there's so much to do and you don't know which thing which deadline is the priority item in, that needs to be done first or maybe both of them have equal value and so you need to try and figure out which one um, to do first so my husband was reminding me, and I think this is Stephen Covey, I would actually have to go back and source this, that he said, if it is uh, urgent, you know, that it has to be done right now, then it's going to kind of take care of itself. The things that you need to focus on most are the things that are important, but not urgent, because they will never send up alarm bells that they need to be done, but they do, because those are the kinds of things that are going to move you forward in your life and in your business, in your work. So getting back to the multiple deadlines at the same time, at some point, you got that information that something needed to be done. Typically, it doesn't come to you the night before. Sometimes it does. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes stuff has to happen like this. And sometimes you've just been going through and checking each thing off of your list one at a time. And now, you know, it's just the next thing and it happens to be tomorrow that it has to get done. And now it's, a, it's urgent. But when it came to you, it wasn't, right? How do you handle that? In this particular moment, there aren't a lot of options. You're going to need to pick either the thing that is going to provide you the best return on investment by giving you more time or return on investment by giving you more money. Those are kind of your two big deciding factors. It could also be, as I said, return on investment. So you may, <clears throat> you may find that you're going to do the thing that gives you the biggest financial or money return for the least amount of input because those deadlines are coming up very quickly, and so you really have to, to wage you know, what you're going to put into it and what you're going to get out of it. Um, in the future, though, right? So when you're in that moment and everything is pressing, it's hard to make great decisions, and you're really just hedging your bets on what's, the got, what's going to be the least worst, right? Sometimes it's just what's the least worst decision that you can make. I get that, but we want to get ahead of that ball. So as we go forward, you really need to be ruthless, thank you Jen for that term, about your time. You've really, really got to be focusing on the things that are most impactful. And when our days are wide open and the deadlines aren't coming up, it can feel like, oh, 
I've still got time. I've got plenty of time to do this. So we don't look ahead to, oh, wow, a month from now, I have two things that are happening in the same week. But that future planning can save you a lot of headache and can give you a better return on investment than if you are always just putting out fires. So right now you're dealing with the big thing that's happening right at this moment. When that is done, tonight, tomorrow, whatever day it happens to be, or maybe even just taking five minutes. I know when things are pressing, it seems like even five minutes you don't have. I want you to look at what's coming next week, next month, and then the next three months. And I want you to pick one way that you can start that particular item right now. Even in the thick of things, even though things are totally crazy right now. One small step, maybe it's a phone call, Maybe it's writing a sentence on a piece, on a document to get that started or an email to somebody. One small thing to get the ball rolling so that those two projects that are coming in and their deadlines, you know, right back to back aren't going to be that stressful the next time. Your future planning is going to save you days, I kid you not, days of work and tons of money because when things are due um, and, and you need to pay for extra shipping costs, for rushed production costs, um, to bring people on and maybe even pay overtime, there's a huge cost in that. And you don't always produce your best work. So you get the thing done now, but even today, I want you to think about what small step can you take on the project that's big, that's coming in a week, two weeks, a month, or three months down the road, and start implementing right now. When you have those big wide open days that seem like, oh, leisurely, I could lounge at the pool and everything's lovely. I've got all the time in the world. Today I'm going to smell the flowers and read and I'm going to do all this research and it's so nice. You're forgetting that very soon that other thing is coming up. So make sure that comes into your current reality. What? Bring it forward. Put it on your calendar now. Maybe even move the deadline up, even if it's not real, just to spur you on into action so that it's not going to be pressing and two things coming due at once in the future. <sighs> wow, that was a big one today. All right, I hope that this helped you. And if it did, please like and comment and share the love. Um, subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And I look forward to connecting with you. I'm Nettie Owens with Sapari Solutions, creator of the Take Control System, helping you to create an environment that supports who you are, what you're doing, and where you are going. Bye.